Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Distant Worlds 2, a new Space 4X strategy game developed by Code Force and published by Slytherin and Matrix Games. Uh, we're returning to our first Let's Play series of this game, uh, which is an absolute mammoth of a game. We're playing on a 2000 star galaxy, and we've barely scratched the surface of exploring, but we have established ourselves in the northern sector of this galaxy. We have one colonized planet with about 5.7 billion people on it. It's actually a continental moon. And we are in the process of trying to clean out some of these star systems in the far reaches of our explored space of their space monsters, if you will, to try and make these areas safer for commerce. And so that's what we spent a chunk of our last episode doing. We also spent a good chunk of it researching, and so we've researched quite a lot of stuff, uh, including some colonization stuff and uh, and whatnot, um, as well as I believe we now technically have passenger ships unlocked, or at least all the relevant um, equipment to allow a passenger ship. We're currently trying to finish up diplomacy for the Hackendish uh, peoples. There's two independent uh, planets that we've discovered with Hackendish peoples on them, but we have no real good way of communicating with them because we don't know the language. So we're almost done researching that. We're working on planetary, planetary exploration. Uh, we're working on exploration scanners. That should hopefully open up more information, maybe allow us to discover more resources, more uh, potential information about the systems we've already sort of researched, and then improved sensors as well. Those are the four things we've been researching. We've really gone heavy into, um, not diplomacy, but heavy into sort of uh, exploration in the last few, uh, I don't know, hours of gameplay. Um, I think we're going to look at upgrading our basic storage systems in our next research thing here. Probably improve. I don't know. I don't really transport troops and stuff like that. I'm trying to see here. Maybe penetrating sensors. I, I'm just really going down the sensor route. Improve target tracking, because we do have that on some of our ships. Improve countermeasures, because we have researched that. Um, and then maybe space construction? That will give us construction yards. We already have small spaceports unlocked. Oh, that's an upgrade for within the spaceports. Did we, we unlock larger spaceports, right? Large mining stations, but not spaceports. Hmm. Uh, in addition to that, we've already researched starfighters. We probably should design some. And... You know, Rubik's, you don't need to swear just for the sake of swearing. So, uh, tone that down a little bit. All right, uh, enhanced missiles, let's research that. And... Let's see. What else do I want to research here? I don't know about enhanced maneuvering. I haven't really been going down the maneuver route with my designs. Media, another level of civilian ships will give us medium freighters, which right now I think we have... We've unlocked medium mining ships, small passenger ships, and fuel tanks, but nothing medium for freighters, which could be a more efficient way to move resources. Uh, crystal sensors are for the hack and only. Cruise systems, medical systems. I guess we'll go with uh, medical systems and cruise systems. Okay, what's planetary governance do? Administration center, reduces corruption. I guess we can go with that too. All right, so we've got a pretty good queue, I think, of items that we're researching. Not a ton of weapon systems, if you will. Um, we're also, I'm, you know, with my current balance budget, I don't know that I'm, I should be doing this, but I have been spending a good chunk of money on 
uh, going with the sort of crash programs left and right uh, because, hey, why not get stuff done more quickly? Um, additionally, we do have the ability to have colony, colony ships now. And if we take a look here, let's go, where are we looking here? I don't even know all the tabs yet. Here we go. So if we take a look at the new colonies, uh, we actually have, so there's a couple of colonies we've discovered, which I, I'm assuming would be somewhat um, habitable for humans. Although maybe not. All above 50%, but they're already occupied by either Hackendish or um, I think are these Xenox. But there is one planet which would be a great fit for humans, which we haven't, I don't know where we got this information. But somehow out here in the Drura system, uh, Drura 2 appears to be very well suited for humans. I think we had like an exploration ship get out here and get destroyed by something and then... But we, but we did discover Drura 2, which is a 70% quality, a 30% or 30 plus suitability. It's a continental planet. Uh, and this would be a great, you know, colony for us. It's 70% habitable for humans. It's almost the size of our continental moon. And, uh, and so we do have that option, perhaps, of trying to push out there. But that is a little bit further away from Lavazar Junction, where our only colony is currently. So that might not be a terrible idea, but it's also something that I think is in the back of my mind. If the um, Lyras, however, expand north, like it's right adjacent to them. So it might not be a bad idea to get that started. If we are going to actually go ahead and colonize anyone though we do need to go ahead and design a ship capable of colonizing so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and add a new ship design we're going to go to the colony ship section here and we're going to try and auto generate a design the ai auto generated something almost to the max size 492 out of 500 150 hull size 170 crew 42,000 credits it's expensive um and you can see here it has very minimal attack strength. It's got one offensive section here with seeking missiles. It does have a standard armor and deflection shield, so it's, it is okay on the defensive. Also has countermeasures and proximity sensor array, proton engines, command center, uh, some reactors, and, and what have you there. So we'll go ahead. It looks like this design is adequate. Speed's low and maneuvering turn rate's low, but that's not really the purpose of this ship anyway. So we'll go ahead and we'll design our first colony ship here um and we'll call it the flying scotsman because why not all right so that's a new design for us i think everything else that we could design or upgrade has already been done at least where it makes sense and let's start building one of those Colony ships are expensive, though, aren't they? Forty-two thousand—that's twenty times the cost of a, like a frigate. All right, so we're doing that. Meanwhile, one of our our fleets is currently engaged uh, against some space monsters. So while we're building that, go ahead and let these guys fight these. Uh, these villains here, the Gravelexes, which feed, I'm assuming, off the star energy. God, I can barely see this. Someone's proposing a gift. Propose a gift to the... Offer them a gift. Why? Aren't they already my friends? I hope I didn't accept that without wall clicking away. They want to... Exploration and territory military refueling. Mining rights. Show me. 
So what do they want? They're offering me exploration and territory, military refueling, mining rights, and research agreement. And I have to give them nothing in return? I don't know about mining rights. I don't want to give them rights to mine in my system. Unless they're offering it to me. No, I don't trust you. Not well enough. I know we're friends, but I don't trust you well enough for that. Can we just all go wipe these fuckers out? I think they destroyed those ships of mine in there. Got that one though. All right, colony ship is done. What's the second fleet look like? No mission. All right, our TB boys. I'm gonna have you escort that colony ship. So we're going to return to the Lavasar Junction. There might still be some villains there. 1400 strength. That's more powerful than me. Or no, that is my strength. I don't know, whatever. Send Daring Venture to colonize Drea too. We will do that in a moment. We will do that in a moment. But I want to get the escort fleet there. I can I just give him money? Alright, second fleet should be returning soon. Where are they at right now? Or first fleet should be returning soon. Second fleet's already there. Okay. Can I give these guys a fleet order to escort? Mm, I don't see an escort option. That'd be nice. Let's go colonize that planet before the anybody else gets to it. Where does it show? So I don't know that colony ships are military. Okay. Does this mean we have 31,000 people on it? Okay. Let's go, let's go there. There might be bad guys in between. We might get the ship destroyed. OK, 
Okay, planetary exploration has been researched. So has iron weapons. You know what? Just go to the juror sector. If you got the fuel, I hope you do. No. Oh. Stop offering me that stuff. I probably should build more exploration ships too. Especially since I'm assuming we'll need to go back and research some of the galaxies we've already researched. Thanks to some of the technical advancements we've made. Grainy Field, by the way, thanks for the follow. Looks to be okay. Okay. Research wise, let's go back and look at that real quick. Screw your damn protection. All right. Meanwhile, let me go back and take a look at research, improve sensors. Let's go ahead and crash that for 11k. Storage systems, let's crash that. Penetrating scanners, let's crash that. And you can see here our dollar amount, negative dollar amount is pretty considerable. Um, trying to look at the cash flow and see why. Maybe just the money, well, no. I have to look into the details of this. Stop telling me to give them credits. Okay. Colonized Drear 2. What's going to Drear ahead of everything? Where is that even going? There's a mining station in the sector? Huh. I guess I have a mining... Why? It's interesting that it's outside... Oh, shit. Defenses? Stop. I'm very annoyed that they keep asking for that. It's going to destroy our relations if I keep saying no. Although apparently not. Relations still appear to be good. Alright. I'm guessing this is just like outside our... Well, no, because we are... Right, never mind. We don't have a, a thing there. Stop telling me to give money. Maybe I should turn off the auto uh, recommendations. I'm not sure. Okay. We're closing in on Drira. Gonna colonize our first planet. Unless we get destroyed by the automated turrets. Or whatever's around Drira 3. There we go.
go. Hmm. So our military ships show up there. Apparently there's a some bad guys in the system. Nice, new colony has been founded. So we have 31 million people already aboard this colony. It is pretty happy. High quality environment. It is not a productive eco economy yet. But, you know, we're working on it. 28% development, 14% from population, 14% from resources. Okay. Meanwhile, our warships. Are attacking these guys who really are hard to find. They like just sit in the freaking stars. And that frigate's gonna get destroyed. That's why you attack in mass. So one of their Gravlix is considerably superior to my destroyers. Build that. Okay, we're gonna come hit it from three sides. Its health is already at 50%. And covered a new independent colony. Got the bad guy. All right. Let's take the first, or maybe not the second fleet. I'm not sure. Right. So they're not as happy anymore. Development has fallen. We have one. Striker Troop Brigade aboard the planet now. 31 million population is growing. Still making no money on it, but we have two colonies, so that's what matters. We probably also need to colonize some of these systems between us now that we have two colonies here. Okay. All right. Income is not looking so hot. Our bonus income is what's saving us. Is the second fleet moving? Oh, it's still there. Can't see shit. Got him. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can go finish off this bad guy. I don't even know if this one's a bad guy. It might be neutral. Making the galaxy safe for me.
there is an enemy scout at this base. But we just destroyed automated defenses. I hope that didn't hurt my relationship with them. Oh, negative two. So we're still we're up to 32 million. I think we started with 31 million still a negative 1600 Income But again, it's probably badly underdeveloped Let's take a look at these ships On club training sensors 50 days I can wait that long Search complete. Ghost fleet have raided us. Whatever. Not that worried. Improve tracking. All right. Once we get that other item researched, we will design a new warship. So we still have $330,000 primarily due to bonus income. But let's go back to researching ships. Let's go to the uh, exploration ship. Upgrade, give it the better engines, the better weapons. Advanced survey module. Okay. Do any passenger ships research yet? No. have passenger capacity hyperdrive engines fuel storage and reactors that's because i didn't go with the auto design all right this design is no flaws cool So we've got our second colony at Jura up and running and a lot more threats continue to stick around in our galaxy. Okay. Do we need to build a spaceport there or maybe not? I'm wondering if it's worth leaving one of our principal fleets behind. Not as, not as bait, but if we leave ships behind, they can defend. The colony.
can. I'm just waiting for him to come. All right, so they're going to start the refitting. And I'm going to just chill for a bit. Exploration ships, we have nine. Let's build a new one. Okay. I'm not going to give these guys gifts. Wow, we were negative 3,000? Well, in that case, we are paying some pirates for protection. We're going to go ahead and uh, stop that. And that mag magically gets us basically back to the black. What are we at right now in terms of facilities? 38 mining locations. A couple of them must have been destroyed. Stop encountering more pirates. No more pirates are allowed. Frigates attacking the station. The station shields and armor are holding. And they're shooting back against this enemy ship. Pretty effectively, too. Or at least holding their own. Mm -hmm. Getting worn down. Oh, they're boarding us. Shit. They unlock boarding tech. Base raided. Don't I have ships there? Oh, fuck. I do.
So they raided that base and got no loot. Good for them. Lol. All right, guys. Something just blew up. I didn't see whose ship that was. Oh, fuck. They've got destroyers. We've got the advantage of manpower, but still. They raided Durer 2, got Carbonite, Steel, Necros, Krypton, Polymer, Emeros. Wow, that's a lot of stuff they got. Not gonna give those guys. Can I? I should. You know what I should do? They were pirates, yeah. I should design some fighters because I think they work around like our our bases. So let's go ahead and add a new basic fighter design, an interceptor. Auto generate. You can see here it'll have two fighter engines, and then a fighter rail gun, I guess. Long range cannon is 1.8, particle beam is 2.2, railgun is 4.0, seeking missile is 1.9. So clearly we're gonna go with the railgun. It's the highest assault value. Deflector shields is a level eight. Speed maneuverability is 45. Consider adding energy collectors. Where? I don't have any space on the damn thing. All right, what should we call this new interceptor? We'll just call it a Viper. Ode to Battlestar Galactica. Right now, do I have to build Vipers? That's the question. Let's go ahead and build a small spaceport off the planet that spaceport will add defensive value to this base make it harder for the enemy to take it it'll also give us a place to repair our shipping our spaceport designs might need a new design because I don't think if we go to the actual designs here. Where the hell's the spaceport? There. If I go here, got a whole bunch of weapons. I have no armor, few sensors, construction yard stuff, but no Fighter bay, I guess. So if I drop, let's go back to here. <laughs> so now it's way oversized because the auto upgrade added a bunch of stuff. Starfighter Bay. So there's one construction yard, one fighter bay. And a docking bay. Target tracking. Concussion missile.
they're not as powerful. So if we go with Epsilon torpedoes, no. Particle beam, no. Railgun, yeah. Go with beam defense system. Gives us some extra firepower here. I don't know if the location on the actual system matters. Okay. Probably should add deflector shields. What does it want me to do here? Adding command, commerce center, recreation capability, medical capability. Commerce center is too heavy. Yeah, I need basic crew systems. So what do we want? Commerce center, medical, or recreation? Gotta drop something. Okay. All right, I think that's the best we can do with the small spaceport, the SSP-3. Construction ship out here. And an exploration ship. Okay. So we'll work on that stuff. My mining stations and other things like that could certainly use fighter base. Sensors are still pretty important. Wonder, I think anyway. We're up to 6.2 billion population, 35 million of it on the new planet that we're colonizing. New planet is still not turning a positive income though. And the game keeps wanting me to give away money. Any, I'm gonna need more destroyers though and also given that we're dealing with enemy assaults pretty regularly now space fighters might be the uh, the way to go but yeah so we have a uh, non-contiguous territory here but we'll we'll link that up soon. Is there a way to auto ignore treaty requests? Um, well, if we turned off the advisor thing where our advisors proactively tell us what they think we should do, I think we'd get a lot of the, a lot fewer of the treaty requests. You might be able to automate responding to them. I think you can. I don't know 
what just got destroyed? I think we destroyed the bad guy. A lot of these pirates that are coming at this planet appear to be flying escorts. So that's good for us. Considerable advantage in terms of firepower. Escape from here. It's too late, sir. Got him. Okay. And they're really sending a lot of ships at me. Okay. How's the ground battle going? I think we're winning that, it looks like. They did loot stuff though, huh? So they're driven back, but they still loop they still looted stuff. Yeah, Moldas, I'm aware of that. I just I don't feel like I've got the space on my ships to do that. You know, how's the uh bonus income coming? Not great. What's our, um, with all these attacks on our bases, what are our resource facilities look like? Still 38 mines, so no change there. So that's good, at least. Meanwhile, the spaceport is... Con... I was going to say constructed, but it says 34% still, so... Let's zoom out here. What do we see? Anything? Nothing. All right. I've not seen any clean pirates. Dirty's the only clan I've seen. How's the research coming? Good. Man, we research things quickly. This game really flies when you're uh, when you're busy and your mind is elsewhere. Okay. I think we need to set up hunter killer groups to go in and clear out the galaxy of all these threats. I think they're mostly aliens. Colony's up to 35 million now. Still negative, though. Okay. I don't want to give away a third of my money. Drove them off at Alba Fury. And we researched, I think, JF 303, which is a nice link in the chain. So we want to have, we once again have a contiguous empire in terms of territory. And with that being said, that's going to do it for today's episode. This was taken from a live stream from last night on my Twitch channel. Um, 
I had a good time streaming, but uh, a little bit tired, so I hope it was an entertaining episode uh, for you. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. I'm happy that we started a second colony. It feels a little bit far away from the primary one. Um, I didn't see any real opportunities. There might There's like a forest planet or two, which maybe would be colonizable at some point, but I don't think with our current technology it is. So we'll have to see. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a drag financially so far, but... It is slowly expanding, so maybe we'll get to a point where it makes economic sense. But with that being said, we have started clearing the galaxy of threats. Uh, quite a lot still remain, and I'll have to see if I can minimize some of those pirate threats as well, because especially now that some of these pirate groups have gotten destroyers, they become a real, a real problem. And we'll have to see how we deal with that in the next episode. Until the next episode, however, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.